This is visual math for simplifying polynomials. We use yellow for positive, and this is how we represent the constants and the variables. The same shapes, but color red, they are all negatives. So if the problem is to simplify 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 minus x squared plus 2x minus 2, we begin with the base shapes and replicate them as necessary. So here we have 2x squared, so we have two yellow squares. Here we have negative 3x, so we have one negative x and another negative x and another negative x. Here we have positive 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 positive ones. Here we have one negative x squared, and here two x's, and here two negative ones. Once represented, our task is to remove all the zero pairs. So let's get our trash can. Put all the zero pairs in the trash can. Anyway, their values would be zero. So remove all the zero pairs, and there is one more pair here. Then throw them away. Now, what's left would be our final answer. So here, we have one x squared, we have one negative x, and we have two. So our final answer is x squared minus x plus two for this given polynomial. Let's go to our second problem. Let's say we are asked to simplify the quantity 2x squared minus 2x plus 3 minus the quantity x squared plus 2x minus 2. Now notice that there is now this grouping symbol. Before you apply this visual representation of polynomials, we need to simplify first by removing the grouping symbol. When a grouping symbol is preceded by a positive sign, or you cannot see any sign, it's understood to be positive, there's no problem. You just have to remove the grouping symbol. But when a grouping sign is preceded by a negative sign, you are going to change the sign of each of the terms inside the parentheses. So from positive here, that would become negative. From positive here, that becomes negative. From negative here, that becomes positive. And this is now the part that we are going to represent visually. So let's get our base shapes, then replicate them as needed. Here, we need two x squared, so we have two squares here. Here, we need two negative x's. Here, there are three ones. There's only one x squared here. There are two negative x's here and two positive ones. Then after that, let's get our trash can and put all the zero pairs in the trash can. So let's find zero pairs. We have positive x squared and negative x squared. That's zero. And inspecting the remaining shapes, there's no zero pairs anymore that we can eliminate. So let's empty now our trash can and rearrange so that like terms are together. So from here, the final answer is we have one x squared, we have four negative x, and we have five positive ones. So this is now the answer to this original problem, the quantity 2x squared minus 2x plus 3 minus the quantity x squared plus 2x minus 2. And you keep repeating this process until the visual and the abstract became automatic to you.